Hello Action Lightworkers, how are you feeling today? I'm top of the pops. Today I'm going to talk about my ayahuasca weekend, just quickly, an overview. I, I will be doing a little documentary later on, uh, but I want to tell you what it was like and how it affected me. So I'll see you on the other side. So for those that have heard me talk about ayahuasca, you know that every six months, more or less, I go to an ayahuasca retreat. And um, I went this weekend, this last weekend. It was the best experience I've ever had with, with the retreat, with ayahuasca, with the people. Why? For various reasons. One is that I, the more that you commune with, with, mother earth with the plant medicine pachamama the more you commune with with that side the better the i don't know the better the relationship comes the more that you work on yourself based on what the plant tells you that you have to do the more the kind of i don't know it's like a, a mutual respect that seems to be build up so the the experience with the plant was beautiful i had a wonderful 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 experience um, but when I say the word wonderful, don't think that that means fun, okay? Nothing to do with fun. Zero fun. The fun comes actually later when you've done the work. When you're with the plant medicine, when, when it's really at its strongest, it is extremely difficult. And it shows you things that really can shock you. Okay, things about yourself, but just generally things. I mean, it has the best sense of humor ever. I have never laughed so much as I laughed this weekend at what it was showing me. It was doing tests. It was doing tests of my ego, right? And it's done this for the last two times. It was doing this. It was telling me something about me, like bigging me up. You know, ah, Gordon, you're so good with blah, 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 okay? And then, just leaving it there. And I would say, what a load of rubbish. What are you telling me that for? You know that, why are you Why are you even suggesting that? That I feel I'm better than other people. And then it would give me like a, a thumbs up. This literally a thumbs up or a smile. Ha <laughs> ha, like saying, you've passed that test. Literally, that's how it, it was. It was testing me, and then when I was throwing it back, saying that's bullshit, uh, then I would get a thumbs up or a smile, like as if I passed a test. It was so weird. And then there's one point where it was telling me something ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, and I said, "Do you know what? I think you're fake news." And she laughed. She laughed at my joke. Okay, it was like, "Yeah, you've caught me out again." It's just, this is where I am. It wasn't like this before, but this is where I am. This, the plant is constantly nudging me, nudging me, making sure that I'm on the right track. It's really, really nice. The, the funniest thing was at the end when I was sick and tired of having these, you know, it was just, I said, oh, would you just stop showing me these ridiculous things? Stop doing it. I don't need to see them. Why are you showing me them? And it kept saying, well, it was like showing me that it was like a little test. And I said, listen, I want to talk to Pachamama. I want to talk to Pachamama. Okay, bring me the boss. And so she appeared in the usual way with like, you know, like, like a something like a monster, big eyes and everything, you know, just to try and just to show that it's Pachamama. And I said, I want Pachamama, I want you to give me love. I want you to give me love. Now, the reason I ask that is because I've had it before in the ceremonies. I felt the love, right? And until you feel that, you don't know what it is because it's um, Pachamama, the medicine. And, and I apologize that I'm talking, uh, personifying the medicine, but until you've experienced it, if you have experienced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you might be thinking, oh, Gordon's a little bit... Uh, no, no. It's, a, it's real, okay? 
the love that you feel is is a love of absolute strength absolute protection but it's based on such aggression like such strength that um, it's 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 a um, stick and a carrot stick first then a carrot that's exactly how it works hitting you over the head with a stick with love but when you actually feel it she smiled at me sometimes and it's just so overwhelming um, so that's what I wanted to feel I said show me some love give me love please so what did she do for a joke because hilarious I mean really tremendous sense of humor she started showing me porn okay porn like her in porno positions but not porn that you would know you know you wouldn't find that on the internet it was like everything she showed me was with teeth everything had teeth and it i mean it was like super dangerous and i, and I was laughing to myself thinking mm, yeah wouldn't touch you with a barge ball love i mean that would be dangerous that would be dangerous you could you know lose everything so um and I said, that's not the love that I'm talking about. And it was like another test, you know, it's a weird, another little test of, all right, okay, well, I said, I want, I want to feel it here, right? No sooner had I said that, then everything changed and I was overwhelmed with this sense of love. Love, it was like I took an ecstasy tablet. You know that, I don't know, for those who take an ecstasy, that, that feeling of, oh my God, and everything was love. Everything, every, I was love, everything was love, the world was love, the people there. I was just overwhelmed. It was absolutely gorgeous and that lasted for the whole rest of the night. And I was playing music and listening to other people playing music. It was just so beautiful. The people were beautiful. And the next day when we were doing the integration, which everyone's chatting, if I had five euros for every time that the, the word love was mentioned, I would be, you know, very rich. It was on the lips of everybody. Love, 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 love. And, you know, I think this is where we are. I mean, we always talk about there's either fear or love, and you've got to be in love. Stay out of fear, stay in love. We know it, the baddies know it. They want us to keep us in fear. We want to stay in love. Let me tell you that, that, ayahuasca that process if the, if it's for you and it isn't for everybody okay it isn't for everybody you need you need to be prepared but truly it does it does bring you very very close to to the love of of creation the love of the planet the earth you know it, it takes you back to the very roots of where we all come from it's it's very beautiful very beautiful, very spiritual, but not spiritual, new agey spiritual. This is raw spirituality. It's very powerful, very powerful. And so I've had a beautiful weekend. I feel absolutely centered and gorgeous and, and just ready to enjoy life. Okay, so there you are. And I'll, I'll share the, the um, interviews that I did with people later on. Okay, so have a lovely day. I'll see you later.